Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. It's important to keep your files organized so that you can easily locate them when you need to. Elements gives you an easy way to keep your images organized by using albums called collections in version 5.0. Once you get your images into the organizer, you can group them into albums or collections based on whatever criteria you wish, such as the date they were taken, a particular subject, or anything else you choose. Elements provides you with two palettes to help you keep your images organized, the Albums or Collections palette and the Keyword Tags palette. To create a new album or collection and add images to it in the organizer, click on the album drop-down in the Task pane or the Organize bin if you're using an earlier version. So we'll go over here into the Albums Task pane and you'll see a small green plus sign. We'll give that a left click, scroll down to New Album, give that a left click. Now here you can type a name for your new album or collection and add any notes that might help you describe it. We're going to create an album with our flower images, so we'll simply type in the word flowers. Now if you have an Adobe Photoshop.com membership, you can select the Backup Synchronize checkbox right here. Check or uncheck it. You can then protect your album by backing it up on the Adobe servers. Remember, this is available in versions 7.0 and 8.0. If you do this, you'll be prompted to log into your Photoshop.com membership to take advantage of that feature. Now at this point, you can click and drag your images into the new album or you can add them later. We'll add them in just a moment. So next, we'll click the Done button at the bottom of that box. We'll look up here and we'll see under our Albums then we have our new Flowers album located right here. Now, to add images to that album, all you need to do is click and drag them onto the album name. So we'll go over here, we'll click, and we'll drag that right onto the album name and release it. You'll see that when you do that, the small green box will appear in the image as you're dragging it over and releasing it. Click and drag and release. Click, drag, and release. It's that easy. Once you do that, all you have to do to view those is click then on your album name. Now to show all of the images in the organizer you click the show all button located at the top of the window there. If you're using version 6.0 and earlier you'll only be presented with a small dialog box to enter the name and the notes for the album. Then you click OK to create the album. After creating your album you just click and drag the images onto the album name to add them like we just did here in this version. You can create as many albums or collections as you want to keep yourself organized. To view one or more, again, all you do is simply click on the album name and the images that are in that album will be displayed. If you want to delete an album, right click on it and select delete that album with a left click. You'll be prompted, are you sure you want to delete that? Click OK and your album would be deleted. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.